Tony not too long ago, friend of the show Conan, praised you, I use that slightly ironically, uh, praised you for pushing the LAX tag team even though you didn't exactly understand the culture. What made you like these guys to give them a chance? Conan believed it. I, I went off the Conan vibe because when he would go out there, he would he wasn't cutting the interview. He was speaking from the heart because I knew how he felt. So if he felt that way and the Hispanic people in the crowd weren't disagreeing with him, he had something. So that that group was a, a strong group. We could have done more with them. Uh, and I wish we had of, because you got to study them, uh, your your section of your audience. I guess your demographics of the audience. How many of them are speak Spanish, and how much of them might agree with him? But even though when he went Viva La Raza, you know, I mean, it didn't take long to figure out what that means. And they they when he would say that. People that understood it would come out of their chairs. So there was something to, to what he was doing. And since I'd been exposed to an Hispanic environment for several years when I got there, was, which is basically Puerto Rico, uh, and they love wrestling. And when he was speaking good of them, yeah, of course, you know, that they're going to cheer him. So... I wish we'd have done more with them. Uh, but Conan was, he was a commentator too. The thing about Conan, we didn't know what he was saying. We didn't have anybody monitoring what he was saying. Cause he could, he could have said anything. He could have said, Oh, well, Dixie Carter's this Dixie. And I don't know. And we wouldn't know about it till it gets to the TV station. I don't know why we didn't have somebody monitoring the, uh, the uh, Hispanic commentary which I learned later that they can say a lot of things you never know about. It wasn't that what Hector Guerrero was for or something like that. Maybe he could have been the guy to report back. Well, when Hector was there, he was, I think that Conan, I think we replaced Conan with, with Hector, I think, because we had a problem with our Conan had a problem with his pay and he wanted more pay. And I was, that's, I didn't deal with that. I didn't want to deal with that. So they couldn't come to a uh, an agreement, so he left. With LAX, so I was I, I was actually watching TNA quite a lot in 2006. I remember thinking 2006, if it was going to be a bit of a tide-turning kind of year, it, 2006 would have been the year because you had, I think you had Kurt Angle co coming in that year, Jim Cornette comes back in a creative thing and on screen maybe as well. But LAX stuck out for me because I thought they were like the, the main young team, new faces that had real star power. And if they were in the WWE, I'd see no problem with them being WWE tag team champions. I thought they had great star power. Who who else was there at the time? Was uh, Chris Harris there and James Storm? Yeah, they were still there at the time, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't have an answer, but I think we had some big plans for them. But I think Conan, I don't know if he derailed the plans or he left. But something happened within that team or within that group that kind of took their plans off the table. And I think it was Conan and his salary. I don't blame him, but if he's not happy, you know, he needs to – I mean, and I had nothing to do with it. Well, you, because you, it you did the same thing. I mean, in an answer beforehand, when you went from – when you went to IWA, you did the same thing. You asked for a oh, raise. Oh, I did. I did because I thought I, I deserved a raise for what I had done for the company. And I think Conan, uh, and, and in his job, he was reaching the Hispanic audience, which is was quite sizable, I would think, at that time. I think we were on Spike. And, of course, the if they – and I guess we, we had some tapes going out there to uh, Hispanic areas, and we would always send that tape. But, again, that's not – that was not my call, and – I didn't. Have, I wasn't in charge of salaries, our our pay, so I just separated myself from that. 
uh, very quickly as well, whose idea was it? I, I hope I'm not misremembering this, but didn't LAX have their own entrance at one point? Whose they, idea they was did. that? That was Conan's idea. And it's a good idea. I forgot what it was now. What 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 did they do? But they did have a separate entrance. Yeah, they almost had like, because um, I know WWE, ECW, they ended up having their own separate sort of entrance away from the SmackDown set. But anyway. And they had their own separate dressing room. Remember that? They would have put all this stuff on the wall. Oh, and, yeah. And that, I don't know whose idea that was, but since nobody's claiming it, I'll say it's my idea. Good idea. 